Hello, ladies and gentlemen! Better yet, ahoy there! It's I, Captain Freaks. We're back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. I know I said I'd be back anyway. Um, so I figured it out. It was uh, the left-handed thing. Um, Where do you suppose your wife got the porky that brought us here? A good question. Miriam and spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful wow. magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. That's Hogwarts wild. Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. So I noticed one of the one of the first thing I noticed is in that opening cinematic. How was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Wow. Excellent! Use your camera to select the active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. Okay. So, again, one of the first things I noticed in the opening cinematic was that was a bit when rougher than I'd expected. Was a nice touch they had to it was the Thestrals appearing when your character witness is George's death. That's pretty awesome. Ah, up there. We're close now. It's just ahead. I must say though, the, the whole idea of this was, was really cool. Almost there. Like the way I, I noticed a few things already, like your your thing kind of blowing in the wind there, that's that's really cool. It, it moves so smoothly. You know? Everything just moves so smoothly that the... Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems... out of place. The mini-map the mini -map shows your surroundings with you, purple triangle, okay in the middle as this symbol so the, the yellow symbol is your current objective press and hold to toggle quest objective details discover professor fig and i have traveled via porky to a remote to a remote cliff site in the scottish highlands we need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the porky was meant to lead us to Okay. Oh, that's roll. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Okay. Um. Do we need to 
go that way, or is there another way around or something? Oh wait, here we go, stairs. There's stairs over here, there's, it's like a path of some sort. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Any collectibles in the box? So it doesn't look like there's anything that enchanted in the enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Oh. Explore the ruins. Right over here, my guy. Check this out. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Interact with the magic. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. What is this? Wake the goblin. This ain't green got, is it? Hello? No. Is this green gods? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> We're having here. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. It is Gringotts. What Vault the? number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. How did we go from the Stick Scottish up. Highlands to Green Gods? I thought Green Gods was some diagon alley. Or maybe, maybe, After okay, you. it's the 1800s, so maybe Green Gods. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Green Gods? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way.
Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Yet until today. Huh. Well, that is interesting. Thank you for your help. So I'm also playing the Hogwarts mystery game as well, which is really what quite do you awesome. We should be looking for on, on sure. mobile, sir. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault Twelve indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Uh. Wait, what? <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Wait, okay, hold on. Steady with your wand with L. Along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press this corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! Whoa. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. So, we're just gonna walk through here. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Whoa. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You Ooh. seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? 
What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. All right, give me one sec. I'm going to turn off that uh, key thing. Um, up here, maybe? that off for a bit. Determine how to proceed. Maybe... There must be something to that reflection you're seeing. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It okay, is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. 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 Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. What? Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, this doesn't look good. Look out! Protect it! Professor Fig! Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where Professor. am I supposed to go? Follow the flurries. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. <laughs> Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. 
Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Okay. Revelio. What is this? Ooh, what do we have here? This looks interesting. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. So that's what those I are called. That's got to be the same thing that Dumbledore had in his office. So that's what those are called. I always wondered what that was called. Now I know. It's a pensive. Follow my lead. this all is in place the portkey is well hidden perhaps too well I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. what you're seeing the glow that surrounded them yes sir astonishing can I see magic 
Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Uh-oh. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Oh, crap. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. No. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the... Oh. Uh-oh. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. You touch me and it'll be the last thing you do. Never mind. Oh, that's not good. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Oh, they have Come. the theme song. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Dude, that's wild. Oh, look at that. It's We're just outside Hogwarts. Oh. Look at that. Woo! That looks so dope! Fort Key Game, Hogwarts Legacy! That's wild.
I really like how they have the, the symbols down there for the houses with, with the loading. That's really cool. Maybe if it loads. Wait, it's really taking its time. Oh, oh, come on now. Let's. There, there we go. Okay. So beautiful. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. It is Simon Pegg. That is so cool. I haven't seen Simon Pegg in a minute. That's wild. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. So I thought about this and I narrowed it down to anything but Slytherin. So we got three choices. Slytherin is out. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. So it's letting you choose. So, yeah, I did narrow it down to... I'm looking to forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world three. beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned out by having an me. adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of. Mm. What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, or ambition. We're gonna go ahead and do loyalty. Because I am very loyal. A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. The sorting hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff house known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Accept house or choose different house. Let's see. 
Let's see what, what happens when I say cho when it says choose a different house. Or well, I I think so. I think Hufflepuff is. Yeah. Let's accept it. Better be Hufflepuff! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Aww. You can't cancel Enough. Quidditch. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. What a hard ass. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Professor Weasley. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Neat. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Neat. Wow, that is so beautiful. That sunrise is so beautiful. It looks off perfectly. I, I love noticing the beautiest of, the be most beautiful of details of all my games, and I looks really like love. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to Hogwarts. Quest started. Revelio. So. Wow. That is so neat. Beautiful. Arthur? Oh, it's a snow owl! Oh, hello! She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know.
I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly... out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Arthur. Who's this? Oh, Adelaide. You don't need so to be what? frightened, little cat. Arthur Plumley. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, <clears throat> one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about mm -hmm. coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Adelaide. This? this must be Adelaide. Mm. Adelaide Oaks. I like that. It's a nice name. Oaks. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. <clears throat> You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. A Adelaide. Nice Sorry. to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, mm. I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. I must say though, this is really neat. I like this. This is kind of a wonderful design. Honestly, they, they should really focus on these other two houses because we never really get to see them. Good morning. Hello, Professor. I trust you're ready for Professor. your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Ooh. Oh. Neat. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. 
It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Alrighty. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Okay. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. What's this? Fruit? Simply cast Revelio on it and... Revelio. House Elf Recipe Book. Guide Pages. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's, Hufflepuff's original creations, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled dirigible plums, are a likely and acquired taste. Ooh. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. You progr your progr progress towards completing challenges will appear here. This is your wizarding level, wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first field guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. So I already have one. Words unlock each tier you complete. Form from appearances to critical upgrades. You must be... Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Neat. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Ground staircase, the reception hall. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Central Hall. Oh, that is so cool. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live. This includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Great Hall region to continue. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find Apodic academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouses. Select the Library Annex region to continue. Professor Reasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flame for you. Use R to rotate the map and fast travel to the Central Hall Flu Flames with Triangle. Oh, that's a that's too bad. I thought they would at least like show us the whole kind of disappearing and reappearing and whatnot, but I guess not.
This is neat. I love this. This is so beautiful so far. I love it. Oh, shit. Balls. Come on. Load up. Let's go. What? Why is it taking this time? And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Follow Professor Weasley. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. <laughs> that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. And then, uh, let's just go Can through them all. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay, neat. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. <laughs> Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say <laughs> I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Alrighty. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Mm 
I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. This symbol represents main quest. Completing main, main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by p completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Defense against the dark arts class. Field guide map shows Professor Hecat's class in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in the castle. I may need to use a charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. So, I think we're going to go ahead and start with the bit more basic, and we're going to go ahead and do Accio first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day mm. ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right, let's go to charms class, guys. Let's go this way. That the door is not opening. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, neat little. Oh, okay, that's. Let's go into a sprint here. Oh, the flu flames have been discovered. around on the grand staircase one too many times. I simply avoid it now. 